This is Pete Fordresher. He's a college student who manages to find some time to grow some plants in his dorm. So how are you doing today, Pete? I'm doing quite well. Good. Now, what do you have for me today? Um, this is a Eureka palm that I've had for a few months now. That um, It's seen some wear and tear. Obviously, the uh, college lifestyle might be not be the most conducive to plant growing. And you can see because it's got some brown spots. And I thought I'd come to you for a little bit of assistance on that ground. Okay. Well, actually, it's doing quite well. Um, the Eureka palm can be a difficult plant to grow. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, considering everything, it's doing quite well. And I'll show oh. you a few things to get it even more back on track and thriving. So good. the first thing that I notice about it is it is tending to tilt backwards yeah, like a little way. bit. The and leaning I, Tower of Pisa. Right, like it is like that. <laughs> and I think the reason is if we come down here to the soil level, you can okay. see that the soil is pretty low in the pot. And if I press on it, I can really get it to uh, oh, yes. press down quite a bit. So what I would do is add some more potting soil to mm -hmm. it and pat it down really firmly. And then I think it'll stand up straight and mm -hmm. it'll be a little bit happier too. I see. While we're down here, I notice that the soil's nice and moist. It feels good. Now you want to water it when the top of the soil's dry, however long that takes. And you can water it with up to a half gallon of water. I think that might have been a problem at first. At first, I was just using a, a cup and pouring it in there, and it was getting quite brown when I first got it. And then I started <laughs> watering it more, and it seemed to be much healthier after that. Yeah, yeah that, that'll make a big difference. Yeah, a cup of water just really wouldn't make it with this <laughs> That's a mighty so good one. So let's look at it a little closer. I do see it does have some brown tipping on it like this, and that probably is a result of your underwatering it when you first mm. had it. Now, one thing you can do for it right now is just take a scissors and just snip the ends off, just like this, and that'll make it look a little bit nicer. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of light do you keep it in? Well, um. The room I'm in faces to the west, and uh, it doesn't get a great amount of light because it is a townhouse on a fairly busy street, but um, we have three windows in the front in a kind of a dormer shape, so that, that lets it get some light in there. And I had it there for a while, but I also had it downstairs for a while, which doesn't get as much light, so I think I'm going to move it back upstairs. Yeah, this particular palm, the Eureka palm, does like some good bright light. Mm -hmm. They don't have to have a lot of direct sun, but bright light will make a tremendous difference. Mm -hmm. I notice that it leans towards the light if I keep it against the wall for a good period of time. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> might be why <laughs> it's leaning. That's what they'll so. do, yeah. yeah. It wants that light. Mm -hmm. It really does. I also notice something else here. Let me see. See its new growth here? Mm-hmm. Now, just hold that right down here for me. I want to get one of its older fronds. Now, oh, look yeah. at its older frond over here. Now, that is actually much greener here than your new frond here, mm -hmm. which tells me that you probably aren't fertilizing the plant. Is that oh, correct? Yes, I'm sorry. That is correct. <laughs> well, that's okay. You can start now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's always time to start. My favorite way to fertilize is to use a fertilizer that you mix up every time you water a plant. Mm -hmm. It's just an easy habit to get into, and the plants seem to respond the best to that, too. Mm -hmm. So do you think you can develop that habit? Possible. Um, would I find a fertilizer in pretty much any At a store? nursery or yeah. garden center. Okay. Even the hardware stores mm -hmm. often carry them, and they should be able to give you a good recommendation. There are several out there that are very good and that you can use every time. Okay. Now, when you say mix up, you mean, do you get something that mixes up with water, or is that...? Right. Uh, it's all water-soluble. Okay. Mm -hmm. It'll either be a powder form or a liquid form. Okay. There are different kinds. Is but there a special kind for a, a palm that I might want to use or another kind that would hurt it if I used it? I would just use a general houseplant food. Mm -hmm. There's not one, at least not that I know of, designed specifically for palms, but just a good general houseplant food you should be perfect. Great. So you think you can do all that? I'll give it a shot. I'll see if I can fit it in. Okay, will you let me know how it does in a yeah. couple months? I'll let you know. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Pete. Thank you very much. <laughs> And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.